Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about type 1 autoimmune diabetes. So type 1 autoimmune diabetes leads to destruction of the pancreatic beta cells which secretes insulin. As a result, body would face a very low level of insulin. This results in high blood glucose level and low glucose mobilization to the tissues. Before understanding the nitty-gritty details of autoimmune diabetes, the complicated immune responses, we should take it slowly and start from the very basics. So you must be familiar with the term sugar and you must have heard this term from your father or grandfather. So what does that mean? The medical term of it is known as diabetes. So diabetes simply means elevated blood sugar, sugar level and there could be consequences associated with it. But wait a second, why elevated blood glucose level is bad? In fact, our body use carbohydrate, protein, fat as their fuel. And especially if body has choice, it would be driven more towards carbohydrate utilization. So why at all carbohydrate is bad? The point is carbohydrate is not bad. Neither is glucose. But when, can, when body cannot mobilize glucose, then it, it is bad. So in diabetes, there is glucose, but body cannot utilize it. After a meal, when the blood glucose level is elevated, in a normal person, it would be moving to the muscle, liver or adipose tissues for utilization. But for a diabetic patient, this process is not happening. Utilization of glucose is hampered. So even if glucose is there, body cannot utilize it. And that brings out the complication. The excess amount of glucose in the blood might have severe consequences. Now, there could be many reasons for diabetes. And over 30 million of people in US are affected by diabetes. Annually, $100 billion is spent on diabetes related medications so the situation is severe right and the situation is not good globally because in uh, south asia or western pacific countries the incidence is increasing day by day so let's say you have taken a meal full of glucose now what would happen is your blood glucose level would increase but after the steep increase it would also decrease because body would try to utilize that glucose and mobilize that glucose into several tissues such as muscle, adipose tissues or liver. And that is happening in the normal person. But this phenomena is not true for a diabetic individual. His blood glucose level would be increased and stay in an elevated level for a very long time because body is finding it difficult to mobilize the glucose. Now our pancreatic beta cell secretes insulin which is a peptide hormone and it takes crucial role um, for glucose mobilization. And insulin is secreted by the pancreatic beta cells. So obviously if your pancreatic beta cells are dying then insulin level would be low. And there is another type of diabetes which is type 2 diabetes where our body gets resistant to insulin. That means our body cannot respond to insulin. In the first case, our body can't secrete insulin due to the destruction of the source. And the second case, even if there is insulin, body cannot respond to it. So these two things are different. Our focus is type 1 diabetes in this video. So there are many genetic factors and immune components which leads to the complication of type 1 autoimmune disease. One major thing is human leukocyte antigen, which give rise to MHC molecules. But one allele, which is DR3, HLA-DR3 and HLA-DR4, are found to be associated with diabetic individuals, which are suffering, who are suffering from type 1 diabetes. So these pancreatic beta cells, they have insulin and they have many surface markers. And our own body treat them as foreign and generates autoantibodies against them. These generation of autoantibodies might have consequences because cells like macrophages and dendritic cells 
would recognize these autoantibodies with its FC receptor. Now, these macrophages and dendritic cell can instantly secrete inflammatory cytokines such as IL-1, IL-6, and TNF-alpha. This, this leads to attraction of many other cell types and increased inflammation. It attracts Th1 subpopulation of cells and many other cell types. Moreover, any cell type can show its self-antigen displayed on class 1 MHC molecule. And this pancreatic beta cell also do the same. But these antigens, which is not supposed to be detected as foreign, is now detected as foreign by our cytotoxic T cell. And as a result, cytotoxic T cell secretes perforin and granzyme, which kills the pancreatic beta cell. Now, once pancreatic beta cell is destroyed, there would be very less insulin which is secreted, right? So, here you can see on the left hand side, there is the normal distribution of pancreatic beta cell, which has dramatically reduced in an individual suffering from type 1 diabetes. And that's the major cause and the major pathophysiological symptom. And as a result, you can clearly understand when insulin level is low, there is no blood glucose mobilization or very less blood glucose mobilization and as a result blood glucose level would be high or elevated for a long time which leads to many adverse consequences in type 1 diabetes now there are many solutions to type 1 diabetes one primary solution is to take more insulin from external source now body needs insulin after meal to mobilize glucose and body simply can't produce it so putting insulin from external source would help in this case. So the stages of diabetes type 1 is the following. There is a genetic risk, immune activation, immune response and there would be detection phases. And these there are many individuals which have different genetic makeup who are more susceptible to type 1 diabetes. And in a different video I will be talking more about that. But this video was an overall summary about the immune reaction that happens in autoimmune type 1 diabetes and its complications. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And please follow me on Patreon. You can support my channel by paying me in Patreon. Small support can really help my channel to grow. And my courses are present in Unacademy in order to access the full-fledged course. You can use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount. By the way, who don't know about Unacademy, it's India's biggest learning platform. So you can join there and access my courses. Thank you guys. Thanks for listening.